everyone one really uh, badly looking problem here. I did a video on angle addition postulate, but I realized that I didn't have anything on well, what happens if you have an angle bisector. That's a problem. So in this one, ray YA is bisecting, which means that the bisecting means it breaks into two equal parts. So that means that this is equal to this. As in the other video, I'm going to start out by making a couple statements about the visual and really nothing else. I'm not going to look at the numbers yet because if you start diving into the numbers, you make all kinds of little annoying mistakes. So the first thing I'm going to say is because of the angle addition postulate that the measure of angle XYZ is the same or has the same value as the measure of angle XYA plus the measure of ZYA. The little ones equal the big one, that whole thing. Angle. Now, with that being said, what do I do with all that? Uh, I'm going to start looking to see if I can substitute it in, but before I even get there, for this problem, it, anytime it says bisects, you might as well go ahead and deal with the realities of what that means, which is that the two little angles are equal to each other. There we go. So that's set up in the way I want it. Now I'm going to look to see if I have enough information to go ahead and solve it. So I'll just substitute in the values. The measurement of xyz is 6x minus 20. So right below this I'll put 6x minus 20. The measurement of xya is x plus 30. But here's the problem. I don't know what this is yet. But I can find it because of the information they give me here. xya is x plus 30. And if they're the same then this one must be x plus 30 as well. Now this part of the problem may be different depending on what information they give you. If they give you the value for XYA and they give you ZYA but they never give you this, you can actually solve for X right now. I mean you can solve for X here but I mean why would you? But say they say one of them XYA is X plus 5 and ZYA is X minus 4. Well if they're supposed to be equal I can go ahead and solve that equation to find the value for X. It's kind of useless to do that here, but what I can do is find out uh, that since these two are the same thing, where I wrote x plus 30 here, I can write x plus 30 here. And then everything comes together nicely because I'm just combining like terms. It's the ugliest third, zero ever. Um, and then I can solve. Minus 2x here. 4x minus 20 equals 60. Four x equals eighty. And because of the size of the page, bloop bloop. X is equal to twenty. Now I can take this information into and find my final value. I know that measurement of uh, ZYA or ZYA itself is equal to X plus 30. So that means this should be 20 plus 30. So the measurement of angle ZYA is equal to 50. Can I test that? Of course. It doesn't even be much good to plug it into this because 20 plus 30 will still give you 50. But over here, when I have 6x minus 20, well, 6 times 20 is 120, minus 20 gives me 100, and if both these are 50, 50 plus 50 is 100, so it does equal out and give me my final answer. So, not the prettiest one I've ever done, uh, kind of last minute y because I realized that I had uh, sort of a a missing section that I needed to cover, or wanted to cover anyway, uh, but I hope this helps. This is angle addition postulate when given an angle bisector. Example.